Hello everybody. Hello everybody. This is Scott and as I'm continuing my series I'm basically trying to go through a bunch of products and go through many companies. I'm doing a shampoo uninstaller 5. We're basically going to try and run through all their programs and give you a good idea what the company is about. A shampoo uninstaller 5 is basically a powerful uninstaller that we've all seen before. Advanced System Care comes with one and we like to use them because they can clean up the uninstall they can clean up the programs after you uninstall them. That's great. So let me just tell you how the program works. You have your uninstall, you can install a program using the monitoring. And let me explain what the monitoring is. When you have a program and it installs itself, it's gonna add a bunch of files into your app data, your seat your just your drive itself and in the registry. And that makes it hard for a program such as uninstaller to track it because it doesn't know where it went and there's no easy way for it to tell it so it just tracks it by the name. And then the uninstaller 5 has something where they call it a monitoring. Monitoring is actually a very simple idea and it says if the blah, it, when this program is being installed it will when the program is being installed it will monitor all the files that it places which is why they give you an option to install it. This is a smarter way to install programs because that means it can be a lot cleaner to remove them. So, Advanced System Care, their uninstaller program, while very powerful at removing it, it's not the best. And the reason is, is because it still can't track everything that it does. So, for instance, installing it via uh, the A Shampoo uninstaller is a lot smarter because it will because it, it'll track the program find out where all the files went and then it can uninstall them because it already knows where everything is the program remembers it and that's kind of why they have the monitoring service and why it's recommended to have it also installing a program through uninstaller is actually a small lot smarter as well then you go into the uh, tools section which basically just comes with a lot and I mean a lot of extra tools that they have. I mean Windows based tools, this is what Windows has. General tools, your settings, backup management, file tools, you have a link checker. It'll make sure all these uh, things are running and nothing's invalid. I mean it's not like they're like oh my god the best tools ever, they're just like a, it's just like a toolbox. And essentially in the end it's not useful to you. It's not something that you'll be wor really worried about because these tools are not nearly as efficient as some of the programs that they offer and some of the programs that you can get for free. However, the main focus is the uninstaller. So I'm going to try and uninstall a program and see how easy it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. Found a corrupt entry. So, oh my god, yeah. So we're not install this and what it basically is saying is you see this? Okay, so it found it, it stopped the entries and it tried to look for files and it didn't find any. Now that is not the smartest way to uninstall. I don't even know why that it didn't delete the bookmark. But that's because it didn't have any information about the program when it was trying to uninstall it. Now if I installed it and then uninstalled it, then it would be a lot smarter because the program would recognize everything that it did during its installation. Oh my god. Well, that's why it says not logged because it has no information of where the program went during its installation because it didn't exist during that. Deleted 948 files. So it did clean up something. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's intelligent unless it literally is monitoring everything. So if you're going to go through a large process of installing software, you may it you may want to actually have something like this because if you install a lot of programs and uninstall it on your host machine and not a virtual machine, while that's not a smart idea anyways, it's better to have a program like this where it is going to monitor everything that's going on 
and then it could delete them fully because if you don't and you're constantly uninstalling and reinstalling and installing new stuff the program the, your, your registry is just going to get so clogged because it has so much you has so many useless entries that for programs that may that it may not even have so is it is the advanced is shampoo uninstaller 5 a good software yes it, it probably is a good software uh, and while it doesn't seem to clean up programs completely or maybe the programs themselves are just really good at uninstalling because windows when they released windows 8 microsoft basically said you guys need to start work they had to basically start working on the uninstallation of programs because they were getting sick and tired of the registries getting full of crap and that's always been an issue with windows so these kind of programs are very useful to uninstall to use However, if you're not willing to pay for a program like this, I definitely recommend using the Advanced System Care Uninstaller because it still seems to be the best. And then if you don't like this and you want to use something else, the Revo Uninstaller Pro is a very, very nice tool. So thank you very, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post them in the comments below, and I will try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.